We just witnessed perhaps the craziest month in Roblox history that saw something insane happening almost every day. So let's take a look back and chronicle the wildest month the Roblox community has ever seen. Coral, a former member of the PALS group who was exiled from the Roblox community in 2019, made an unexpected return. He was once a big time Roblox personality until he called a super fan cringe for having a $100 custom jacket with the names of the PALS on it. Coral would disappear for over 5 years before randomly returning on Instagram where he apologized for his actions and gave an update on his life. He was welcomed back by everyone, including the girl he called cringe, as most people realized what he did wasn't that bad, especially by today's standards. If his return wasn't already expected, a Twitter account popped up pretending to be him that had nearly everyone fooled until he called it out. Former Roblox YouTuber Napkin Nate was allegedly arrested for car theft, supposedly marking his third arrest. He used to make jailbreak videos during its prime for over 800,000 subscribers, but he's apparently now playing jailbreak in real life. The validity of this arrest is up in the air, but it isn't the first time rumors of him being arrested have circulated as this happened a few years ago too. Shedletsky aka Telemon found himself in hot waters after making an odd tweet comparing slaves to horses. Somebody replied to a tweet of his saying some horses couldn't take care of themselves in the wild because they've been tamed. Shedletsky responded to that by saying, they said that about slaves also, so not great. What he said kinda makes sense though as he was referring to slave owners claiming slaves couldn't survive in the wild as an excuse to keep them. He's comparing that to people saying horses couldn't survive in the wild because he wants horses to be free, but he worded it very poorly. RDC 2024 happened, and one of the incidents during it was David Bazuki announcing that he still wants Roblox dating to become a reality. Last year, he announced that he predicted there'd be dating in Roblox in the next five years, and he ended up giving an unfortunate update. He talked about Roblox dating as if he shockingly didn't realize it was against his own rules when first announcing it. He then said he's still optimistic it'll happen with ID verification and other work done with the policy team to make Roblox dating a reality in the next 4 years. Meep City creator Alex Neutron and Roblox found themselves being sued for allegedly misusing a song that appeared in Meep City. A composition of the song Maple Leaf Rag was said to have been used in Meep City without the music owner's permission, and they wanted compensation over it. Strange things were mentioned throughout the lawsuit though, like us apparently paying to download songs onto Boombox Gears. It's this weird mix of being kinda understandable and being total nonsense, and has certainly become one of the weirder lawsuits in Roblox history. The strongest battleground YouTuber Lobby found himself in two separate incidents in September that may have ended his career. First, he was confronted by Ruben Sim and MFD team members for using suggestive content to market his Roblox videos. He would change up his bad content then upload the weirdest response ever that actually included a spoken segment from his mom. Not too long after that, he'd be called out for a plethora of alleged inappropriate actions, but the big one was him supposedly assaulting a minor. He allegedly met up with a girl in Ohio when he was 21 and she was 17 and assaulted her while in a park. The girl recorded a call they had where Loppy recognizes he did something wrong and didn't refute what she said. He said he was going to respond, but a day later said he was taking a break and that the allegations were false and trying to discredit him. Roblox unexpectedly dropped a long-awaited update allowing under 13 users to change their birthday. The new feature allows anyone who had their birthday set to under 13 years old to change it, relieving the harsh under 13 restrictions like safe chat. A lot of users had begged Roblox to allow this during the last decade, so when it randomly dropped it was a huge deal that caused a lot of joy. Roblox developer Gfink, who is best known for recreating Doomspire Brick Battle, was outed for dating a 16 year old while being 24. He says he met her after she just turned 15 and, as of early September, said they were in a committed relationship and wanted to get married and start a family. He transferred ownership of his game shortly after all of that was revealed, and his account would be deleted, likely under his own control. The girl's identity is unfortunately completely unknown, so nobody knows whether or not she's still in a relationship with him. Former Roblox self-proclaimed developer Jared Valdez threatened to sue Roblox for terminating his accounts over a decade ago. 
He had several accounts terminated from 2012 through 2014 for stealing and re-uploading games from other developers and many other reasons. Jared wants David Bazuki to unterminate them because they're supposedly worth millions of dollars, but provides no valid reasoning to. It was talked about a lot in the Roblox Twitter world, but I think it's just another one of his publicity stunts, which is why I never talked about it. Roblox star creator PGHL Films was hit with multiple allegations, with the most known being him sending disgusting animal videos to minors. These videos often centered around animals dying or their corpses decomposing, which he seems to have had a bizarre interest in. He would ignore these allegations for months before releasing multiple responses that are widely agreed upon to be faulty and improper. His Roblox account would be deleted, but it's currently unknown whether or not he did it, or if Roblox terminated him themselves. Multiple reports of men being creepy towards women began surfacing during and following the 2024 Roblox developer conference. This supposedly included guys showing up to the woman's breakfast, and I did hear of a case of almost stalker-like behavior from somebody. Not a lot of details have been given on these supposed incidents, so some may doubt how bad they actually are, but I can say for certain that serious incidents do occur. Former Roblox developer SimBuilder made an unexpected return after being jailed for his little RDC 2023 incident last year. He randomly returned right after RDC 2024 concluded and announced plans to remake Vehicle Simulator even though he's terminated. He also shockingly made his hit game Vehicle Simulator open source, giving anybody the ability to download it and learn about its ins and outs. SimBuilder wasn't welcomed back with as much warmth as Coral was, but he seems to have cleaned up a bit so people are cautiously optimistic about his return. John Roblox, the owner of Tower Defense X, went to a talk hosted by Tower Defense Simulator at RDC, and got quickly kicked out for mysterious reasons. This started a brief Twitter argument that got a lot of people talking due to nobody really knowing why John got kicked out, or if it was at all justified. It would blow up, but only for a short amount of time, as John and Below Natural would quickly squash their beef and everything went back to normal. In perhaps the biggest news story of the year, Roblox YouTuber Koofy was revealed to have secretly been disgraced Roblox YouTuber Kologish. He was originally outed and admitted to inappropriate and illegal interactions with minors in 2021 and quickly vanished following it. Unbeknownst to almost everyone, he would return under a faceless voiceless alt account called Koofy, which he built up to having over 2 million subscribers over 2 years. Koofy became more popular than Kologish ever was, but that success all came to an end when his identity was exposed by former friend Kaka v 420 it would also be revealed that some YouTubers knew Koofy was Kologish from the start and helped him grow, including a guy called It's Maddie. Roblox YouTuber Nitro Lord would be called out for linking his public inappropriate Twitter alts on his Roblox alt account. He was liking and retweeting highly suggestive and very concerning furry content as well as following several 18 plus furry accounts alongside minors. He would issue an apology for it, but it didn't mention how he also had interactions with inappropriate tweets on his main account too. Several Roblox games in Australia got banned over them having loot boxes and Australia's new laws going against them. Australia recently introduced a law that makes games with loot boxes have to be rated M to help reduce child gambling and their exposure to it. A bunch of games have now been banned in Australia as a result, including Adopt Me and Pet Simulator 99, obviously. Ruben Sim launched an all-out war on condo players by creating a system that detects their accounts that has found over 12,000 so far. As of writing this, Arsenal, Please Donate, Catalog Avatar Creator, Greenville, Maple Hospital, TikTok Dances 3, Romeet, and Vibe Place have banned everyone on these lists. That has resulted in over 80,000 game bans, with a small handful of those 12,000 accounts being terminated on a daily basis. Roblox developer Giant Milk Dud, best known for creating Toy Tale RP, was again called out for alleged predatory behavior and love of illegal anime art. This time, it resulted in his Roblox account being terminated, and unlike other cases, it is believed Roblox took action. Roblox UI designer The Great Alexander, who worked on several big games including Frontlines, was arrested for numerous alleged illegal acts. Thankfully, the victim is receiving proper support, and Roblox terminated his account while he awaits his sentence, which may be between 12 years to life in jail. The owner of Dress to Impress, GGDTI, was accused of threatening to frame the owner of It Girl, Mrs. Spongy, of over jealousy of It Girl's success. 
Ex-developers came forward with that claim alongside supposed interest to DMCA Strike It Girl, but Gigi couldn't because the games were simply only similar. Gigi was said to have apologized to Mrs. Spongy, but only after she heard that she might be exposed in a document. Mokmish, the owner of Multi-Crew Tank Combat 4, allegedly revealed that he enjoys illegal anime art and seems to want the age of consent to be lowered to 12. He transferred ownership of the game holding group to a new account, likely under expectation of being banned over his interests. Roblox developer Onichan11, aka Dio, was caught in a Roblox sting operation and would get arrested in real life as a result, as seen on Schlepp's channel. I want y'all to watch that vid so I'm not going to spoil it, but I'll say I did play a small part in the catch and did briefly talk to the predator. He would be confronted in real life by the same guy who caught EDP and would be arrested and charged for being in possession of illegal content. The most insane month in the history of Roblox has finally come to a conclusion. I don't think we're ever going to see a one month span this insane ever again because when will we ever see a major incident happen nearly every day? There's even more stuff I could have included like more RDC announcement and updates that partially released, but this vid is long enough. I'm down to see another month with this much stuff going on, but only as long as it doesn't include all the bad stuff we saw in September 2024.